hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is jennifer Ngomalo. i do hope that you join us in this community that is if you like any of the content that i share on this channel in this channel we do career talk lifestyle as well as financial and so if you like any of that please make sure that you join us we would love to have you and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it does help for youtube to push my videos for more people to see and i'm thankful to each and everyone that has joined this family honestly you guys we are literally on a road to 5,000 subscribers this was a goal for my this was a goal that i had for myself some way in this year when i realized that my channel started growing and i started getting moments momentum and i started becoming more serious about my channel because initially my target was a thousand subscribers but then this year i was just like you know what i'm going to push myself and so i was like five thousand is possible and i'm hoping that we're going to hit five thousand by the end of the year now without any <laughs> without me blabbering on and on on today's video we are going to be doing part three to the series of how i manage my money and you are going to be looking at you're going to be breaking down my savings the reason why i'm doing this part the reason why i'm doing this video or going to be breaking down my savings is because i got a comment from a lady from namibia i'm not gonna try to pronounce the the name because i feel like i'm gonna butcher it if you see that it's you shout out to you do comment down below she is a new subscriber to this community welcome to this community i hope that you stay and so you asked that i do a video on stock files and how i manage how I manage them and budget for them. So I assume that's what you're asking. And so I thought this is a very interesting one and it will be very interesting for me to break down my savings. Even though every month I do a monthly reset where I do my budgets in detail. However, it's nice to actually just zoom in on one part of my budget. And so if that interests you, please stick around. Okay, guys, so I hope that, that that intro sounded very long. I Actually, this was my second take to this intro because the first one was just too long. If you have any video ideas that you would like for me to talk about or basically like do a video about, please leave them on the comment section because I do appreciate them. If I feel that it's something that I can talk about or something that, you know, is practical to me, then I will do it because I have gotten some video ideas before. However, if I feel that it's something that I have no knowledge of or I've never done, maybe I've used, I've never used the platform, I'm not going to talk about it because the last thing that I want to do here is to come to you guys and tell you about things that I know nothing about. So without me blabbering on and on, let us get into today's video. Now, if you are not familiar with my monthly reset, you wouldn't know this, but if you are familiar with my monthly reset, then you're going to get a more so close up view of my savings name. First things first, I believe in paying myself first. There's a saying that pay yourself first. And whenever, when I started learning about my finances, especially from rich dad, poor dad, the first thing that really struck me was pay yourself first. Now I had never really known about this and it's something that i had not practiced in my finances and when i learned about it it made a lot of sense and so as i'm saying i believe in paying myself first and that is what i do so when i get my income not even when i get my income when i budget the first thing that i do it is my savings this is actually how i do my budgets every month because i feel like paying myself first is the best thing that i can do for myself and my finances and it's also the responsible thing to do just to make sure that i'm always prioritizing saving over everything else because if i can save doesn't matter how much that i'm saving but if i can save i've already actually I've already given myself a better chance to succeed with my finances. Beginning of each month when I do my monthly reset is I'll do my budget, I'll drop my budget. The first thing will be my savings. And on my savings, I have categories of savings. So I don't believe in putting my eggs in one basket. You, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this and you've heard a lot of financial gurus or people that talk about money talk about this. And normally when people reference to this or when they mention this statement, they always correlate it with investments. However, you can also use it 
did when it comes to saving. I don't believe in saving in just one place. I don't believe in taking all my money and actually putting it in just one nest egg because for me, that is a very big disadvantage and I'm also not tapping into many potentials when it comes to me earning interest. And so I like to diversify my savings. And so on today's video, that's how I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how I diversify my savings and how I make sure that each and every, every each and every place that I'm saving in it has a purpose a goal and they're broken down into short term medium term and long term and so what happens is the first things that I normally have I always have actually I, I prioritize every month it is my emergency fund now I'm gonna start with my savings besides the stock fall even though the question asked about the stock fall but I want to give you guys a full view of my savings so the first thing that I have is my emergency fund. I save my emergency fund with Frank app. So that is my first thing that I'm saving with Frank. And I also have another long-term saving with Frank, which is my, ed my child's education fund. And this is a long-term saving because we talk about 18 years here. That's when it's going to mature. So every month I save towards her as well. And so I budget for this every month. In a month, like last month, I budgeted for it, but I didn't put money in it last month because I had to prioritize money somewhere else. That is my second part of my savings. And then another part that I have, which is medium term, it is my time bank saving. And this time bank saving is basically, it has multiple goals. So right now it has the building fund. I've spoken about this in many of my videos, but I'm saving towards a building fund. When the time comes where my family buys another property, we'll use that money towards that. And also in that time bank, in, in my time bank savings in my goal so it's the building fund it is the december holiday fund i'm going to do a video about this on how i'm preparing for december holidays financially that is another goal that i have another goal that i have is my youtube fund so i got my first payment beginning of november and I couldn't have been so happy because I had been waiting. And so what I decided to do is I saved the money. Okay. So that's another goal that I have in there. What other goals do I have? The Cape Town trip because we are due for that in December. And so I, I have those goals. So my goals are broken down into specific things. This just also shows how I diversify my money that with Frank, I don't just have one account where my emergency fund and my child's education fund is all jumbled together. I actually have two accounts with Frank. So that's already diversifying my my savings with time bank there's one account however there are different goals within one account meaning that if i want to tap on the other i don't disturb the other and there's also another way that i diversify my savings so that is it when it comes to my savings with financial institution now we're going to get into my stock files now these are very interesting and let us get into it so the first thing that i have is stockfell one stockfell one is um holy swan i started playing this i started doing this this year i was i was never part of a big um holy swan in here so this idea came out with my colleagues they're like okay we have this um holy swan we're short of someone we're short of two people so i put myself and my partner in there and so we actually contribute 2000 we save literally we basically save 2000 per month and so there's actually six of us which means that you get around 10000 when it's your cycle so how this works is we are six ne? we have a roster that it starts from this person goes to this person this person this person this person so when it comes to you you get ten thousand or you can say twelve thousand including your two thousand and then you do the same thing with the other people when it's another person's ten and so it rotates six times so that is the first stock fall that i have how i budget for it is that i just put it on my budget i put it there as a line item to say um holy swan number one and i'll say two thousand and then i budget for that even when the money is coming to me in that month sometimes i will put it in there so that's how i budget for it and then the number another stock stock fall that i have is stock fall number two now stock fall number two is a long is a yearly stock fall instead of it rotating there's no rotation so we save from january until we save from january until november so the no, this month which is november it's the last time that we get to contribute towards the savings in december no contributions and no what it does is it doesn't pay out in december like most stock falls do it pays out in january and i liked the reason why i joined it was because it pays out in january because we all know that 
December, for some reason, we always have money. I don't know how, but in December, if you are working, normally you find that you do have money, but then come January, you are broke. So what I like about the stock fall is that it pays out in January, like literally the beginning of January, between the second and the third. So you know that you are not broke. All the things that take money, like the festive season, the Christmas, and also the, the New Year's Eve, they've gone and passed you've spent on them and so now you get your payout what i like about it as well is that the minimum is 500 so right this year because i had so many responsibilities financially things that i had to save for i have been just saving the minimum in the previous years i was saving around a thousand one thousand two hundred but this year it's been 500 <laughs> and whenever i would get more money that i'll put a little bit more but it's been normal in terms of the pay uh, the money that i've been contributing which is just 500 and so that is my second stock fell and the last stock fell that i had is actually with my sister now this is umholi swane that i play with my sister now this is different from the other umholi swane that we that i do there it rotates six times ne? which means that we get to play twice a year so you get to get the payout twice in a year however with my sister it's umholi swane such that i get paid on the 15 she gets paid end of the month and so when i get paid on the 15 i give her a sum of 500 rands when she gets paid on the 30th she gives me back the 500 rands when we started it i didn't like that by the time the month ends i had no money and that meant that i had to borrow or i had to use my uh, i had to use my credit card well i still continue to use my credit card either way however i didn't i i didn't like that i had to borrow from people and so I'll also what she used to do is that by the time it's the 15th, she had no money and so she would come back and borrow from me. But what we decided to do was, okay, since I get paid 15, you get paid on the end of the month. Instead of us always borrowing from people or worrying that we're going to run out of money, let us use each other to save. And so that is what we do. And so what I normally do is that I'll put this under my savings. And even though these are savings that are obviously use they're not like savings that i'm like okay and they're gonna go towards this and this it's money that i know that at the end of the month when she gives me that 500 rands i'm going to use it towards groceries or i'm going to use it towards transport to work it doesn't matter that i use it every month but the fact of the matter is it's the money that i commit to saving so it's like the shortest shortest saving that i have because I said my savings are broken down from long term, medium term and short term. So that falls part of like literally short term savings. So those are my stock files. And as I said, when it comes to budgeting for these things, I just put them in my budget. They fall. They are actually the first thing that I budget for my savings. Once I once I've actually done that category of saving, then I move into my weekly allowance and then I move into my monthly expenses. Then that is it for my budget. However, my savings are always my first priority. If I know that in that month I have responsibilities, things that I have to take care of, like one soft thing for that particular month, then what I'll do is I will pause some of the savings and then do those things. However, if there's something that I need to if there's a line item that I need to re I need to introduce in my budget that has never existed before and it will it won't be just for one month I'm not gonna pause my savings for that what I'll do is I'll find somewhere else where I can get the money to pay for that line item so that is how I go about saving budgeting and managing my in my savings and the sun keeps going in and out which is a signal for me that i need to close this video so with that being said i'll see you on the next one please take care and stay safe mm -hmm.